Heads up, I'm about to get on my soapbox. I don't know about you, but I have been hearing about the aging workforce crisis in facilities management for a decade. And it's just as evident today as it was 10 years ago. You may have heard these statistics. The median age for a facility manager is 50. The U.S. workforce is losing 10,000 baby boomers every day. One third of craft construction workers are over the age of 50. 13% of the entering workforce are going to the trades, but our industry needs 20% to maintain its current levels. Two thirds of kids between the ages of 12 and 18 don't see skilled labor as a desirable career option. And that's mostly because their parents believe that it will adversely affect their financial goals. That was the case for me. I remember being in the first grade, six years old, and my mom would randomly ask me, Lindsay, what comes after high school? Without skipping a beat, I would respond, go to college and then get married. <laughs> and we repeated this exchange countless times in my childhood. The directive was clear, I was going to college. And you know what? I loved college. I'm so grateful for that college degree and that I took the time to earn my college degree, even though I don't really use it today. I'm not alone in this either. Half of millennials, which make up the largest segment of our workforce, half of millennials report that their college degree is irrelevant or unimportant to their current job. Let's go back to those financial goals. It's true that a college degree can lead to a higher paying job as opposed to the alternative. Absolutely. But that's not always the case and it's not guaranteed. There are more options today for generating income than ever before. Also, $1.5 trillion in amassed student loan debt is wild. The average borrower leaves college with $37,000 in loan debt. To enter the workforce with that much debt and not even use your college degree is bonkers. <laughs> it's 2020 and Generation Z is now entering the workforce. Let's be honest and real with them. Let's be open-minded about their options. College isn't the right path for everyone. Skilled laborers make good money and they also enter the workforce with significantly less debt, possibly zero debt compared to their college graduate counterparts. They also enter the workforce sooner because they don't have to wait around for four or more years for a college degree. And because the demand for skilled labor is so high right now, they could probably find a job in just about any city they wanted. And if you think that trades work is a dirty, undesirable job, then let me remind you that tradesmen and women require skills like people management, budgeting, finance, conflict resolution, time management, critical thinking, design, creativity, situational analysis. Those are impressive skills, whether you're working in the corporate environment or out of a shop. Plus, there's really no better feeling than to leave a long, hard day of work and to visibly see what you accomplished, to see the impact you had with your bare hands. That's an incredible feeling and who wouldn't want that for their child? So I challenge myself, you, and everyone else, 
let's empower the next generation by giving them the freedom to choose the right path for them. Thanks, y'all.